Jets, Jets, because everybody loves talking about Jets. Uh, for, uh, I, you got a preference on Angel or Devil here? I probably should go Angel because I'm so high on the Jets. I, I just, I look at this team. Look, this was a, I, I didn't realize this until I was doing my preview that Pro Football Focus, uh, it's a site we all know and, and does great work. They ranked each unit of the NFL. They ranked quarterbacks, running backs, receivers, offensive line. Defensive line, the number one ranked defensive line for Pro Football Focus was the Jets. The number one ranked linebacker core in Pro Football Focus was the Jets. The number one ranked secondary by Pro Football Focus for this year. I'll let you take a guess. Yes, it was the Jets. They had them ranked as the best unit in all three levels of defense. And I don't necessarily don't agree with that, but the Jets are top five in all three. And this defense is absolutely a smash. They, this defense is awesome. They are going to be very, very good. Robert Sala's proven himself. I don't know as a head coach, but could really run a defense. And then all you need is decent quarterback play. We saw this team put up the 32nd ranked passer rating in the NFL last year. We all watched them. Unfortunately, it was tough to watch this team play week after week with just terrible bottom of the barrel quarterback play. And I think Aaron Rodgers can still be good. I don't think he's going to be MVP Aaron Rodgers anymore. Like that, that's probably not ever going to happen again. But can he be the, I don't know, sixth, seventh best quarterback in the NFL? Why not? He's a four time MVP. I get he's old. I get he's coming off an Achilles injury. I get that this is the Jets and they're really not used to good quarterback play. But if Aaron Rodgers plays at even a top 10 level, I think this Jets team could be the best in the NFL. I really do. Like the, you talk about upside, you talk about the best case scenario for the New York Jets. The New York Jets could be the number one seed in the AFC and go win a Super Bowl. That that's absolutely Ooh. on the table for them. They've improved their offensive line. They have maybe the best, uh, I wouldn't say the best because McCaffrey, but maybe the best running back in the NFL in Brees Hall, one of the five to ten best receivers in the NFL in Garrett Wilson. They have other talent around those guys. I just there's no hole with the New York Jets if Aaron Rodgers is a good quarterback. That's the one variable. That's all we have to account for. We talked about some of these other teams where uh if this rookie quarterback hits or this defense comes together. There's one variable with the New York Jets, other than injuries and all that kind of stuff. And it's whether Aaron Rodgers is good or not. That's it. If Aaron Rodgers is good, there's no way this Jets team is not at least a 12-13 type of win football team. I think you're actually probably right. I think there's a lot in what you said that I'll give you credit for. I can find, I, I can buy the argument. I don't know if I, I view them in the same class that I view the Chiefs in, but I can buy your argument on it. But the, the devil side of this is easy to find. As I've said to you repeatedly, I don't trust old quarterbacks coming off of significant sure. injuries. And last time I checked, we can neither confirm nor deny whether or not Kirk Cousins and Aaron Rodgers were together on the arc, and they're both coming off of Achilles <laughs> injuries. Like At this point, you, just, you don't ask me to support that and think that that's going to be something I can put my faith in. So will Aaron Rodgers have some great games? Probably, because he's still Aaron Rodgers. Will Aaron Rodgers be a dependent quarterback that you can make through the whole year through? I don't think so. And then what suddenly happens is what's next? How do they handle the implosion of emotion that comes from that? What does it mean for their offensive coordinator, who I don't happen to think is very good without Aaron Rodgers? What's it mean for their head coach to keep this ship righted, which I don't think is a particular strength of anybody in the Jets organization? So what we have is this really talented defense that's got this this offense with weapons, uh, you know, weapons for sure, but an offensive line that I think has some age concerns and quality concerns. It's going to have some health concerns and a quarterback back there that. You know, frankly, I'm not sure we can rely on to make it through a full season. The worst case scenario for the Jets is that they start off slow. They get a couple injuries up front. Aaron Rodgers is a shell of who he was, doesn't come back from the Achilles in any sort of effective way. A solace fire by midseason. This is a six win team and it's an abject disaster that gets talked about every single day because it's Aaron damn Rodgers. You think this team could really be six wins? I mean, we're talking about worst case. I'm talking about Aaron Rodgers plays most of the season. Like, again, yeah, he could get hurt four plays in the season again. We don't know. But if Aaron Rodgers, let's say, plays most of the season, you think they could really be six wins? I don't. I th they were seven and ten with Zach Wilson. I mean, right. this is. But I, I mean, think, this is a I team whose roar, floor is pretty high. But I think, as wild as last year was, a lot of the media was kind to the Jets last year because they didn't have Aaron Rodgers. So even though we were questioning how the hell can you put Zach Wilson on the field, there was still a grace given. That grace goes away. If this team starts off slow yeah. at all, that grace goes away. And all of a sudden, now you're talking about, are they going to fire Salah? Are they going to fire Hackett? Mid-season replacements, does the whole team quit? Like, I, I think that can happen. I think, I think a slow-starting Jets team becomes an implosion that we're watching like a bad episode of the Housewives of some Orange County. Like, that's what it's going to turn into. I, I think that there's one key here, not a key, but a, a factor that I've kept in mind. And I believe in their first seven games of the season, the Jets play a standalone game six times. 
Now that doesn't matter for the results, but what it does matter for is guys like me and you jerks who come on on Monday and who are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about the team just played on Sunday night football. We're just going to talk about the team who played on Monday night football. And if the jets are starting, like you said, mm, two and five, like or whatever it's going to be, they're going to be the spotlight team every single week because of Aaron Rodgers and because they have all of these prime time or standalone games. And we're going to be talking a ton about the jets and their implosion. And you're right. I think the pressure would look if they do start slow. The pressure is going to be cooked up on them so high that I, yeah, Robert Sala could be the co- first coach fired. It's, it, I think that the fact that they're in the spotlight so often early in the season really adds to to this cauldron. And I, I, again, I'm high on the Jets. I, I, I think I think this roster is absolutely loaded, and I'm really excited to watch them. But I get it. I, I get the downside. Like I, again, I don't, I don't see them bottoming out to six wins or anything like that. Just because their floor is high, we've seen their floor with horrible, horrible quarterback play, but. Could it be the type of season where, again, Robert Sala is fired by Halloween? Yeah, I, I, I could see that happening. Yeah, the Jets, and I think you make a really important point. I just want to acknowledge it because we always peel by the behind the curtain here. That's part of what this show does. Uh, the Jets get ratings, and so do Aaron Rodgers. Oh, for sure. The Jets get clicks, oh, and so does Aaron Rodgers. And what that means is that every network, whether we're talking about us or whether we're talking about ESPN, is going to sit there and talk about the Jets, right? And what that means is that if things go wrong for the Jets— it just causes more emotional, visceral reaction because if things are going wrong for the Vikings, it's not a lead story on every single program. But if things go wrong for the Jets, it will be. And that's the variable that I think is just real in the way that society now covers football. Like the Jets, the Jets are held to a different standard. I don't make that standard. It just is what it is. Because if we on this show turn around and put out a video about the struggles of the Titans early on in the season, all three Titans fans will click on it and it will get some traction. If we we, if we say anything about the Jets, all of a sudden Jets fans love or hate are gonna they're gonna react to it. So it's just it creates a different standard for the team that is the reality they ha- they have to live in. Yeah, I, I, look, I'm excited for the Jets. I really see the upside with this team, kind of like I saw with the Eagles two years ago. That's a comparison I made when, again, I, I write these previews. I talk a lot about my previews because that's the world I'm in for two months basically, and I study and study and study. And I have the same vibes about this year's Jets team I had about the Eagles in 2022, where I'm looking around saying, "Does people do people realize how good this roster is? Like, people realize how loaded they are." But again, yes, when you have a 41 year old quarterback coming off an Achilles injury, <laughs> it adds it adds some nuance there that that it's hard to account for. We don't know the the amount of quarterbacks, and I had this in my Jets preview. The amount of quarterbacks that have come back from a torn Achilles is very very small, like surprisingly small. It's four or five guys. It's Testa Verde in the 90s. Marino came back, but he's a much different quarterback than Aaron Rodgers. It, 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 you just can't account for what Aaron Rodgers is going to look like. And if he struggles and the Jets struggle early, this thing could go south in a big time hurry. 